Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the origin of quartets and what the theories behind the origin of quartets. Let's come into the introduction. In this introduction, particularly, we know the place of origin and time of origin of quartets. And coming to the place of origin, the most of the quartets originated from seawater because all we know the first quartets like the Duty Rose Tombs and Ham and all these quartets are uh, originated from seawater only. Uh, time of origin. Let's come into the time of origin. The quartets evolved in the Cambrian period at a Paleozoic era. Nearly 680 to 700 million years ago, a great event was done. That event name is the Cambrian Explosion. Cambrian Explosion is a really great event because the Cambrian Explosion showed the most impact on life on the earth. And many animal phyla originated long before that time. The recent studies like DNA analysis, molecular evidences and fossil records shows the chordates and other animal phyla that radiated or spread during the Cambrian explosion only. Uh, let's come into the theory of chordates that many scientists proposed many theories in their own scenario. But all theories state that the more chordates are originated from invertebrates is it really it's a right but it is a difficult to determine from which invertebrate group the chordates are were developed the chordate ancestors are very soft bodied animals hence they are not preserved as a fossils because they don't have a calcium related like a bones like that uh, coming to the three major theories the first theory is the cylindric theory According to the cylindrate theory, the chordates are evolved from the cylindrates, but cylindrates are at a very low level metazoa grade of organization. The cylindrata have a very low level of organization in their body. That's why the derivation of chordates from cylindrates is a particularly and mostly worldwide unsatisfied. Yeah, coming to the analytic theory, it was proposed by the Semper in 1876 and Minot in 18. 97. According to them, the unleads are the common ancestors of chordates. This theory is the based on the resemble characters. These resemble characters are present amositus larva of lamprey to inverted unlead. The digestive let we observe the digestive system of both chordates and unleads. They have a simple tube and ventral mouth at one end and anus at another end. Let we observe the nervous system. Unleads have a pair of ventral nerve cord and cerebral ganglia. In annelid, the unlead worm inverted ventral nerve cord become a dorsal in chordates, but most of the objections are there in unlead theory. That objections are the unlead nerve cord is a solid structure located mid ventrally, but in chordates, nerve cord is mid dorsally placed hollow tube. This is the major objection for this theory. Yeah, let me know about the echinoderm theory. This theory is mostly accepted theory in some places and this theory is supports a statement that is the hemichordates and echinoderms are originated from the common ancestor and this theory is a completely based on major two evidences that is the embryological evidence and serological evidence coming to the embryological evidence uh, echinoderms and Hemichordates both have a some similar characters that is the enterococcyceloma, mesoderm, deuterostomic mouth. Yeah, coming to the serological evidences, the both organisms, chordates and echinoderms, have a similar characteristics in their protein type, subbody fluid, and radial symmetry of adult echinoderms will disprove their relationship between the bilaterally symmetrical chordates. In echinoderms, radial symmetry is uh, secondarily developed from the basically bilateral symmetry. Both primitive and early echinoderm larva show bilateral symmetry and major evidences shows the hymen is a common ancestor of the hemichordates and echinoderms. And this is the class about the origin of chordates. In another class, we are discuss about the further topic. And thank you everyone. Please subscribe, share and comment us. It will improve us.